What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Finally, I have some good news depending on how you want to look at it. Over the past many, many, many days now, we have been waiting patiently and patiently. We could honestly say weeks now. We have been waiting patiently for some sort of volume movement injection of volume removal of volume something to happen to these markets because it has been very dry and very stagnant and very boring for a very long time on these markets and i can see it by looking at the views that we get on the channel i can tell based on this how well the markets are moving how bad the markets are moving so on and so forth you can see i've been watching it uh you know this is four months ago we'd get three to four thousand views and it dropped to two to three thousand views now we're down to a about let's see what we're at about 2000 views here which is not too bad there's still some interest obviously in crypto right now here but it's a good way for me to tell how these markets are moving here and finally we got some sort of movement in the markets people have get you know get very bored it's just happened it's you know the fact that i've been in this market now going on our second cycle is good for me to tell how these markets play out here so with that being said the fact that you know markets are have died down for a long time we've been waiting for some sort of movement i know this is still small in hindsight for everything that's going on but for the past couple of weeks since literally january the beginning of january here we're now into almost mid uh february here we've been in some sort of symmetrical triangle filling in the gap here we finally saw a correction to the downside here ethereum saw a major dump to the downside here bitcoin saw a major dump to the downside here and the s p 500 is starting to correct lower and will most likely carry itself downwards to moving average as we expected and anticipated here many days if you've been a diehard watcher on the channel here not only have i mentioned this so many times i'm trying to not make bearish titles because i know a lot of you guys do not like watching bearish videos here but you guys can see uh or at least you don't like clicking on bearish videos but you can see in my thumbnails i have all the time mention the fact that we are hitting a major resistance right here nobody is talking about this we're going to see a dump to the downside here as you can see it's been in every single video showing you the possibilities of seeing a major correction to the downside markets are getting squeezed expect to see uncertainty and a drop is coming and finally that drop has happened here this is what we planned for and predicted and now it's finally taking shape so i'm excited that, that is happening with that all being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's dive in to today's episode so guys diving into the technical analysis as you can see top 10 cryptos we're down about 4.7 percent honestly not overall that bad but i do believe this is going to continue lower you can see things like bitcoin and ether down 6.6 xrp is down six cardano's down nine and a lot of the other cryptos are down almost double digits now which is pretty insane but a lot of these cryptos are starting to slide lower obviously xrp is not getting uh to a drop as low as uh of the other cryptocurrencies but this is kind of what I expected. I mean, I can even pull up yesterday's video and show you where I was saying the drop was going to come and where we are currently today. So it's pretty much right on that level here. If I just try to find where I drew XRP, where is it right here? I pretty much stated that XRP was due to hit bottom support right here. We'll see if I have drawn that uh that line i don't know maybe i didn't draw it i'm pretty sure i did but i just can't find it which is not a big deal here i know i did i know yeah here we go so right on xrp i drew it saying that this is probably the lowest point we'll go to maybe a drop down to 33 cents but definitely stuck at 37 and that's exactly where we fell today exactly what we called yesterday here a drop down to 37 cents this is expected we even updated you guys on patreon that a drop was coming here so i'm excited to see it finally panning out as we did see a massive bull run to the upside side and a major break on the XRP daily charts here. Uh, it was necessary to see some sort of correction and consolidation to the downside. So the fact that we're seeing this, it's healthy. I am very much so very bullish on the monthly charts here and even on the weekly. I'm very bullish on the weekly charts here. Daily, a little bearish, but on the weekly, I am very bullish in the fact that in the next couple of months, we will continue to rally up to levels closer to, I'd say, about uh, 55 to 90 cents, conservatively 55 cents. So it's pretty exciting to see all this. Uh, but moving forward into today's video, you guys can see looking at the other cryptos besides XRP, looking at things like Ethereum, this drop was expected, this drop was anticipated, this was something that was needing to happen here, and we're finally starting to see it today. You can see Ethereum has hit its major resistance right here, and we saw correction to the downside. As I've said many occasions, 
questions in today's video, or sorry, uh, in previous videos during the week, that we were trading inside the symmetrical triangle. You can see we shot all the way up inside symmetrical triangle, and we drew some side some channels here. We had a major resistance and a major support, and I've made it very clear that Ethereum should be the candle that we use as a reference for how we you know start to see movements move, or how we start to uh, you know trade crypto or trade Ethereum and the other cryptocurrencies. Originally, I had this. Uh, you know, resistance right here. And over the past couple of days, I did uh, realize that I should move it up to kind of inline ourselves with this resistance. And that has been a blessing and makes it very easy now to figure out what we're looking at here. And since then, we've said very specifically, if we can confirm closure above this major resistance right here, that would be cue to buy in and long it to the uh, to the upside here. But if you want to play a more aggressive approach, uh, a more aggressive style of trading, you could buy in here with the expectations of a drop to the downside here, which is exactly what happened as well. Something that we also mentioned very specifically in yesterday's video. And now that we're back to here, we said conservatively, as I am quite conservative myself, if we break through this support here, that's when we'll buy in for a short. And I don't think the the drop is over yet. We're still trending inside the sideways channel. You can see what happened in previous uh, history here. This was back in October and November on Ethereum here. We trended inside this channel here and we traded for a while. And then we finally were able to make a decision. We confirmed breaking below this support and we fell. And that same thing is applied right now to how Ethereum is trading. We've been inside the sideways channel for a while now. If we confirm closure below this, it is guaranteed that we will see a pretty hefty drop to the downside. Or if we break through resistance, we'll see a big hefty run to the upside. So obviously that's still at play here. For those that took advantage of this small drop right here, you know, congratulations. Congratulations, that was an aggressive move. But conservatively, there's still opportunity to capitalize off this run. I've also been saying that we are expecting it to happen on Bitcoin too. If ETH starts to drop, it will pull Bitcoin down with it. And both of those are directly imp uh, impacted by the S&P 500. So the fact that we saw Bitcoin start to see the drop was nothing out of the ordinary here. I was expecting this very much so, as I've said in the past here. Typically, um, a bearish drop into a symmetrical triangle has a bullish reversal and a bullish drop into a triangle has a bearish reversal, especially an ascending one. So the fact that we see this now is expected. We saw some weird bull trap that happened before a pump fake. And here we are reversing finally back to the downside here. I do expect probably a retest of moving average closer to 19.5, easily dropping down to 21K probably uh, today. But I do see us entangling with the moving averages very soon. Jumping to the weekly, how do we look? Not necessarily up to that just yet, but I do think long term we will inevitably be heading up to uh, 30k in the in the next coming months into 2023. So I'm excited to see that. But first, we need to you know fall a little bit lower. And I think the S&P is really what determined this drop here. We are starting to fill in the gap here, as I've said in the past. We're starting to fill this in. We're getting tighter, and correction is coming. Now I was thinking maybe there's a, a channel forming here on the like. You can see something along the lines of this. Like I could draw some sort of ascending fractal here. You can see kind of a resistance at the top and some sort of support at the bottom kind of filling in the gap here. I do think we broke through that. I don't even think it, it, it makes sense to leave that there. Ideally, my main focus was the fact that on these charts, correction happened right here. We're, we're hitting this and falling lower. And I'm a strong believer that we are creating new higher lows. You can see higher low, higher low. And I do think another one is destined for around here, if not maybe around here. And we'll continue this pattern to the upside. But correction is necessary. I am expecting to see the S&P fall down and moving average at about 3,900 points creating a new higher low. And I think that will pull Bitcoin down to about 19K and Ethereum down to about 1370, if not down to 1300. XRP at its lowest will probably drop to maybe 33 cents, but that's it. Um, otherwise, guys, I do have an update on BidFi, which is exciting. So uh, as you know, BidFi is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. Buy long, sell short, leverage trade, stop losses, take profits. Everything you can possibly think of is offered on BidFi, including XRP. But the best part is they offer a demo account here and they even have a bonus account, which is really cool. That's what they just added. And the best part is they added a new tab here called user, new user rewards, which allows you to earn up to $2,888 in literally free money uh, just by signing up down in the description below. So make sure to sign up with the link. It's a new bonus offered. I'm going to be doing an official unveil of BidFi very soon. But with that being said, that's going to wrap up today's video. Smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow. Tomorrow's episode. Peace.